G'day, beautiful humans. I have noticed that there is a distinct lack of product reviews of child restraints from people experienced in installing them and using them. They're always done by, you know, parents and bloggers and car seat companies, and they're always just plugging the product and not explaining the more technical aspects of them. So I thought, what better way to start than to review the Brightax MaxiGuard range? If you follow me on TikTok or Facebook, you might see me recommend the Brightax MaxiGuard range quite a lot. And that's because it is very, very good at fitting in tight situations and three across, despite the fact it looks absolutely huge. Now, let's start with the standard Maxi Guard, and all Maxi Guards have these beginning features, and I'll go through the rest as we, we go along. So, the Maxi Guard range is what we refer to as a Type G car seat. It is harnessed until eight years of age. It never converts to booster use, so you only use it in harness mode, and it will take a 90th percentile child till eight years of age. So, the vast majority of children will usually get even longer. My six-year-old is in a Brightax Maxi Guard, and she is not even close to outgrowing it. She's going to be in it for a long time yet, and she is very average for height. She's not tall. She's not short. Now, the standard Maxi Guard and all Maxi Guards have easy adjust harness. The harness works super smoothly. You can extend the length of the crotch buckle in three different stages, so short, medium, and high. And there is a sticker explaining that on the driver's side of your child restraint, so on the right-hand side. The other cool features are, as I mentioned, it is very well suited to three across. It is quite slim, and the shape of the shell tapers in at the back where your child restraint sits against your back seat and on the base. And what that does is it frees up a little bit of space for other child restraints to puzzle in with them. And so they don't affect other seatbelt buckles as much. So in a center position where your seatbelt buckles might be really close together, the Brightax Maxi Guard is unrivaled in how it fits between them. It is the single narrowest seat where it touches the, the seat base. This puzzles in well with many other child restraints including uh, the Brytax Highliner Booster and those portable boosters. They puzzle in really well with the standard Maxi Guard. Now, the vast majority of trial restraints will also puzzle in well with the Maxi Guard Pro, but the Maxi Guard Pro has additional torso protection, which takes up a bit more room. So boosters might not necessarily, or dedicated boosters might not necessarily puzzle in quite as well but it's still a really excellent choice for three across, especially if you're putting in two maxi guards and a zero to four. Another upside of the maxi guard range tapering in is where the seatbelt buckles come up next to it and it's all nice and open because of, again, that taper. It gives children that are plugging in their own seatbelt or even adults that are plugging in their own seatbelt just a little bit of space for your hands where other child restraints won't have that. So that really makes a big difference. Now, the Pro has additional torso protection. It has the, the bamboo wicking fabric, which helps keep baby cool in summer. Looks a bit nicer, and it does have cup holders, which some kids will you know, benefit immensely from. The MaxiGuard Pro Plus range has extra stitching on it to make it look a bit fancier, and the covers are a bit different, and memory foam to help keep baby more comfortable. So I hope this review helps. It truly is a good car seat. It truly does install very well. And just on to finish on noting that they are all crash tested the same. So you don't get a subpar product by going for the base model. The extra side impact protection on the Pro and the Pro Plus just goes above and beyond what they have to do. But they are all officially crash tested the same and meet the exact same child restraint standard. The only complaint I ever hear about with the Maxi Guard range is some people complain that it's a bit shallow from front to back in its depth, and that causes some children some discomfort in their legs over long drives. It's relatively uncommon. I don't hear about it a lot, but I do hear about it. So it is worth taking into account when deciding what seat to buy. I hope this helps. 
One last piece of advice is, if possible, take a child to a store or a friend's car or someone you know that might have a maxi guard and test it out. See if you like it, see if it suits your needs and go from there. So good luck. I hope this helps. And if you think of any questions, please don't hesitate to drop it in the comments. And if you want to see more reviews like this and handy tips, like, subscribe and follow. Thank you.